Hey guys, Felllock here, back with another Minecraft Homec, and today's um, episode will cover roofs. But before we start, I have just one question to ask. Is your house as boring as Greg's commentary? Look at that flat roof. It's awful. So, to cover some good ideas, we are going to go to the Curiously Perched Path. And as you can see, we have many things to sample today. Today's episode will be like the last episode where I will show a case my main thing and then I will show more in-depth changes into my world after fade to black so you can leave if you want which is the episode. And now as you can see this one uses all stair blocks and there are some pluses to this which um, mainly, well with all these roofs actually they almost all use um, half slabs and stairs and that's that mobs cannot spawn on them. Um, the only bad drawback about this kind of style is that you cannot torch it without having weird things in it. But you can add things like this. Um, you'd have to come look at how I built this. I don't even remember anymore. I, I slap blocks all over the place. Um, I tweak this this little part here for like 30 minutes to get it to look like that. I'm, I'm very picky. But there are a lot of positive things to it, as you can see. Um, then there is, of course, so that's very pointed. Then there's one over here. I'm going to be skipping around. As you can see, this one also has some points using stair blocks, but has much more emphasis on flat portions of space. And the positives to this, of course, are you can't have torches down by putting down whole um, blocks in here to place a torch on. And also, it doesn't matter if you light the whole roof evenly, because mobs can't spawn on those half slabs. And as long as there's a torch on the full block, obviously a mob can't spawn on that. So you get a nice torched uh, look, so it doesn't look so crummy at night. And you also get the flat spaces there, and it looks pretty nice from a distance. And now, of course, the lowest level is all half slabs, which is a much flatter look, but also a little nicer for smaller buildings like these. Um, on a larger building like that, or probably even that, it wouldn't look nearly as good because it would just be too flat. You want to avoid a very flat surface. And now one last thing using stair blocks of course for smaller houses. You can also go with more of a pyramid shape as opposed to just a triangle there so you come up from all sides which is of course a corner door house is a perfect example. And then of course there is the turret which is on top of that which to showcase that obviously I built this a long time ago. That's a turret roof style although this one uses whole blocks mixed in on the sides there so that's a pretty good example it's also used right there that over here is a good example um, of all half slabs kind of a much more pyramid-ish shape there of course um, kind of like a ziggurat I guess if you had to compare it to something and then of course there are roof types using full blocks and there are some benefits to them for example this house here as you can see, I kind of slant up the corners. I also do it over here, although this is on a larger scale. Uh, it it does give a pretty nice slanted look. And the bonuses mainly to using whole blocks is you can put platforms on top like that or that right there. This is also using whole blocks, although coming in, is, this is kind of like the turret style roof that I use on circular, circular towers, but without the half slabs there to allow for like window slits. So there's also some pretty good things to that, and you can put interesting things on top. And of course, as always, you can use glass. Um, Sunroofs look pretty nice. Um, this thing here, kind of like a porch style, a lot of people like to use half slabs on the roofs. I mixed in some glass there. I think that looks really nice. And it also builds up to that window there. And um, I didn't mention this previously, but of course, when you're using stair blocks like this, you can, of course, do a slight indent and do that, and that looks quite nice. Okay, that is all I have to show on the roofing styles today, so I'll see you guys next time, and until then, stay classy. Good, you decided to stay, and we're going to start this little um, tour of the interior parts of these houses with Nate's burn. But yes, um, we have a closet here. Nothing uh, too crazy. Slanted roof, obviously, because of the roof style. We have a kitchen area, cutting board, I guess, sink. Right there. Got this lovely thing that dispenses food. Variety of food. Usually, yeah, uh, you got some bread. Look at that, we can make a sandwich. We got bread and meat. 
It would be a crappy sandwich, but still a sandwich. Got bookcases, a record player. Each house will have a song in it that you can come sample yourself if you want. It's uh, too loud and annoying for recording, so. Got this lovely view to look out, see these nice flowers. It's night, so you can't really see very far, and plus there's really nothing to look at through there. Now, of course, we have this room over here, which is filled with weapons. TNT, because he loves TNT, and poison. No one knows what's in Nate's mind. Now, obviously, you've been hearing that odd noise, and, well, that's Nate's girlfriend. She popped into town recently, and she wants to say hi. Say hi, Nate's girlfriend. Say hi. No. 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 There you go. Stay in there. Okay, moving on to the next house. See you guys in a sec. Okay, this next house is by, uh, for Retlo the Torchless, also known as John. And he is known as the Torchless for a reason. This is Tip of John House. It's an obsidian floor to prevent the creepers that blow up everything due to the darkness. And that's about all there is to show because creepers blew everything up, unfortunately. And since this is just right here, we'll just walk right here. And this is Gregette's house, aka Greg, aka Durak. Yes, and he's an evil witch. Um, yeah, we'll just walk in, then I'll talk about things. Now, as you can see, that these are mushroom blocks. I actually use pistons to move them. I learned later on I could have edited a block with a damage value or something to get them, but it didn't take very long with pistons and everything, so I didn't mind. Yes. Um, and let's see here, move all these vines. Look cool, they're a little annoying though. There's of course many potions of poison and harming, and an awkward potion, because Gregette is a very awkward girl, probably because she's a he. But yes, as you can see I lit this with fire, because I went for a kind of like a a natural looking glowstone, because it kind of gives a cavey feel, but yeah, I tried to go very natural. And uh, you can make something like this in real Minecraft too if you really wanted, minus the spider web blocks, which you can't get naturally, but the rest you can actually all do yourself, and it, it looks nice, so uh, definitely gives a cavey feel. And of course, if you come up here, there is just uh, other mushrooms, and you can fish and stuff in that little pond there. But yeah, so I will be back with the next house. Extreme Muller. God damn it. Because he loves to say that phrase. And now this was the one kind of with like the observatory on top. Obviously got some nice pictures there and ladder going up. Uh, this one's a little simpler just because I didn't have as much to work with due to the restrictions of the house's height and everything. Otherwise I would have had to go crazy overboard. And it was about the roofs, not the size of the house, so. But yeah, record player there. We also got this water drop. Those are always fun. That is that fun thing I showed last episode, if you're wondering what that is. If you haven't seen it, go back an episode. But yeah, so there's lots of nice stuff, and this is the walkway to get up. And that's really all there is to this house, because I haven't really added anything too uh, personal yet. Of course, he, um, he does have a YouTube channel, as you saw there. There's a few shout-outs in this. Yeah, but yeah, so I'll be back with the next house again. Silver Contrails, Forever Alone. You may also know him as Killer2401, or just Kelly. If you've watched the videos, you'll recognize that name, obviously. He does also have a YouTube, as the other two did. Not the first two, though. The two previously. And this one, this house took the longest. Um, mostly because I wasn't as sure about what I was going to do, and it was definitely has the largest floor in general and the roof actually took a while to tweak to make it look kind of like what I wanted and these chests are currently empty I'll probably add stuff in the chest um, later on just for fun all of these things in this um, world will of course be changed over time as I think up new things and add more funny things maybe more funny signs and all that other stuff but yeah this is his forever alone bed very fitting and uh, I kind of like the way this turned out. I actually built the whole roof based on this little balcony area here for the bed because I angled it above and then just brought it all down from there into something more even with this floor. 
So that's how Kumlitz shaped the way it is, if you thought that was odd when you saw it. And now there is one more thing, guys. A deep, dark secret. I'll show you now. It's not for the weak of heart, though. It may make you a little sad, but it's back here, and it may scare you. It's a gay sex dungeon in Kelly's basement. Ah, no, I'm breaking stuff. <laughs> Sorry, that was, um, that was the, uh, external mouse ruining jokes daily. But yes, there, we can't let them free, then Kelly will have no fun. But yes, there is this lovely feeding button, which as you can see drops some delicious chicken to eat. Ooh. Yeah, there. Repaired. Oh, dang it. Ooh, I know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the torch. Oh, it doesn't drop the torch when you break it like that. Never mind. I'll fix that later. But yes, there is, of course, this chest filled with potions of swiftness and regeneration and a blaze rod. One can only imagine. And there is this record player. The only record we're going to play in this episode. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What? What? Yeah. Hey, buddy. You didn't eat your food. You should have eaten it. But yeah. But yeah. I'll see you guys later in another episode. Um, I do have some ideas of what I want to do, but if there is anything you would prefer to see, please leave a comment so I can know what to set up uh, with more priority. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and until then, stay classy.